channel it's your girl chef rambo and i'm back with another recipe for you guys today today guys i'm gonna be making homemade meatloaf mashed potatoes and some green beans so you guys stay tuned and if you haven't already make sure you guys like comment and subscribe let's go ahead and get started okay guys so these are all the ingredients you're going to be needing today you're going to be using onion powder, crushed red pepper, Italian seasoning, Worcestershire sauce, salt, pepper, parsley, two eggs, a green pepper, a yellow onion, a package of the Lipton beefy onion soup mix, sweet baby rays, ketchup, honey, Dijon mustard, ground beef, and some brown sugar. That is what we're gonna be needing to make our meatloaf sauce. And yeah, these are all the ingredients that you guys are gonna need. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my onion. If you guys do not like onions and peppers, you can skip this step, honey, but in my meatloaf, I gotta have me some onions and some green pepper, honey. It just makes it taste so much better. So I am gonna go ahead and chop these onions up for you guys. And that's about how I like them to be about that consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these into a little pan. I have a little bit of canola oil in the pan and I have it on medium heat. Now I'm gonna work on my green pepper. And you guys, we all have our own way of making things and cooking things and cutting things. So um, there's no right or wrong way to, you know, cut your vegetables or make your food. You make it how you wanna make it. F what a hater gotta say. So I'm just cutting these up and I like my onions and my green peppers to be kind of sliced and cut into cubes, like little tiny little squares. They're easier to work with. That way when I put them in my meatloaf, I don't have big chunks of raw vegetables or tough vegetables. You know, they're kind of lightly sliced and diced like so baby. So we're going to go ahead and put these with the onions, put them all up in there and the water that the stuff that you see, that's water. You guys, I, um, I rinse off my vegetables, so I'm just going to put them in my pan. And as you can see, I'm just going to let these saute for about three to four minutes. I'm just stirring them and. I'm not going to season them. Y'all can season y'all's if y'all want to. I just wanted these onions and peppers to get soft and translucent, so I did not season them. Looking good, looking good. Okay, so this is the fun part. I went ahead and put three slices of toast in the toaster, and I'm just going to um, shred these up, break them apart with my hands. You guys can use... French bread, you can use Cuban bread if you guys wanted to use like baguette bread, Italian bread, honey, use whatever you like. I'm just using some wheat bread just because I don't eat white bread and I just toasted them. And this is gonna be the kind of like the glue and the binder to keeping this meatloaf together. And if you guys wanted to use four or five pieces of bread, you can definitely use that. I just so happen to only use three if you guys don't want to use um, bread, you can actually just use store-bought breadcrumbs. And like I said, you can also use um, another type of bread. If you wanted to use French bread, Italian bread, um, baguette bread, you can definitely use what you want. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Lipton's um, Beefy Onion Soup Mix. This is like my secret ingredient to meatloaf. I'm going to go ahead and go in with two eggs. The eggs help keep it together and help everything, prevent everything from falling apart because who wants a loose, falling apart meatloaf? I'm going to go in here with some Worcestershire sauce because you got to have that. Okay, went ahead and added a little bit of parsley, black pepper. I'm going to go in here with some crushed red pepper. If you guys don't like spice or anything spicy, just go ahead and skip this step. I'm gonna go ahead and go in there with some Italian seasoning as well as some onion powder. 
and I'm also going to add plenty of salt, you guys. I am working with a three pound piece of meat. Um, so I want to make sure um, I season everything really good and I want to make sure I mix everything up thoroughly. Um, I'm using an 80-20 um, percent body fat of uh, ground beef. It's recommended that you guys use 85 or, or above. If you guys wanted to use 93.7, that's completely fine. Um, so yeah, I am gonna go ahead and add in my meat and I'm gonna add in my veggies, honey bun, and I am gonna mix all this deliciousness up together. This is the part that I hate because it gets so messy. So even though I'm kind of moving fast, you don't wanna over mix your meatloaf and I also added in a little bit of ketchup to keep it a little moist. You guys could also add in a little milk if you want it or a little water, but I just went ahead and just added a pinch of ketchup. And yeah, that's pretty much all it needs. You don't have to mix it any more than that. And then now we're gonna start to form our meatloaf. I would recommend using a loaf pan if you have it. I do not have a loaf pan, so I had to use um, this Pyrex um, container, but you guys can definitely use um, a loaf pan if you have it. So all I'm doing, y'all, is messing up my nails with this nasty meat. I'm just taking my hands and kind of forming the meatloaf how I want it to be and how I want it to look. So that way when I cut it, it's going to be very easy. It's not going to fall apart on me. Okay, now it's time for the sauce, baby. We're going to go in here with some regular ketchup because you can't be having no meatloaf with sauce without having no ketchup, baby. So we got to have some ketchup. The next ingredient that I'm going to go ahead and go in here with is some Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. I like my sauce to be a little sweet. Okay, the next secret ingredient is Dijon mustard. I've never used it in my meatloaf sauce, but I tried it today and it was wonderful. I'm going to go in there with a little bit of honey, baby. And a little bit more ketchup. And the last and final ingredient, you guys, is going to be brown sugar. That is all you put in your sauce. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, um, sweet baby uh, ketchup, barbecue sauce. Dijon mustard, brown sugar. That's it. That is it. That's all you need. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, Dijon mustard, honey. I left out honey. Honey and brown sugar. So say it with me three times. Ketchup, barbecue sauce. Uh, I can't even say it, y'all, but y'all get what I'm trying to say. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, honey, brown sugar. What else am I missing? Okay, so I'm just going to pour this over, baby. And then I am going to cook my meatloaf on 350 degrees. You want to cook your meatloaf for about 45 minutes to one hour. We are cooking a three pound piece of meat, so it's going to take it a little bit longer to get cooked. So you want to cook it for about 45 minutes to an hour, you guys. And I have this on 350 degrees. So when it comes out of the oven, this is how it's going to look. It's going to be real oily. So I transferred it over to a white dish and this is how it should look. I added a hint of parsley, baby, and that's all it was. This meatloaf was so delicious. It wasn't tough. It was tender. It was moist. I haven't had a meatloaf like this in years. It was delicious, you guys. Look at that juice. Look at those peppers. And I also made um, some homemade mashed potatoes and some green beans with it. This was so good, you guys. I highly recommend that you guys make this. Try it. You're going to love it. If you're making it for your family or friends, honey, they really going to love it. Um, yeah, that's how it looks. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, you guys.